I'm practicing and I'm trying to discover ways to help de-spiral, unspiral, chronic spirals in the body. For instance, I have a right pelvic rotation and rib cage. So to work on the opposing direction, the opposite of what my body wants to do, come to a wall. This is my right side facing out, left leg against the wall. Flexing your feet, making sure not to sickle your foot, but neutral foot, so the pinky edge of your toe is touching the wall and pushing in the wall with the whole leg. Hips are level, and you're gonna take your left arm behind you to the wall, palm in the wall, and then slowly press the pinky into the wall so we are activating fascia by keeping muscles contracted. And the hand, as you lift your sternum up, and let that left rib cage slowly rotate. You can take the right hand to the outside of that left knee and rotate and breathe. As you're breathing, fill your rib cage up. Let this right rib cage try to inch towards the wall. Press that right hand into the leg. You're not trying to twist as much as you can. You're trying to twist and stop where you feel there's benefit happening. And then use that continued muscle contraction and position to unspiral. One more breath. And let the arm rest down. A couple things I notice. It's hard to breathe because I'm not opened up the way my body naturally or most often is. I'm countering that. But I'm breathing into a space that needs to be breathed into that because it isn't. And that's basically into that right rib cage. Now moving to the other side. The story's different. Okay, so you have the same setup. You're in kind of a V position with your legs. Sternum up, your pinky edge of your right foot now is into the wall, pressing into it. Now, when I rotate back here, easy peasy, because my body just likes to be that way. So I'm gonna counter that. Change that pattern. So taking that right hip and right leg, I'm gonna scoot it forward. I'm gonna reach my butt cheek forward a little bit. So my right leg is longer in front of my left. Now, I probably won't be able to twist quite as much, which I can already tell I'm not, because I'm taking my right pelvic rotation forward, exaggerating the opposite position. So carefully, just go to where you can, roll that shoulder blade back, be careful of your shoulders. Go to where you can and just stay here. No extreme, not trying to get into any position that's not available. This is as far as I have. And even with this, I need to play around positionally to find a position that is comfortable for my joints, my body. And now my other hand, rather than going to the outside, is just gonna stay on the inside of that left leg. And again, breathe. Noticing how different the breath is on each side. One more breath in. Keep active in your leg and let that arm slowly come down and rest. And then come on out of it. I'm gonna practice this continuously to see what happens. You wanna work on finding safe ways to change patterns in your body. Going into opposing patterns in your body just naturally wants to be in. Of course, if you're wondering, well, I don't know which way I'm twisting or turning, then you can play around with this still and just notice what your body is giving you in terms of a response and feeling or sensation. There are ways to get more specific to discover if you do have a pelvic rotation or a rib cage rotation. But to begin, you can just start to play with what you feel in your body. All right, let the exploring begin.